<laughs> Go for game drive. All right, everyone. It's Jeff and Shelly here, your favorite safari Sorry, sister so wives. <laughs> <laughs> we are currently in Loisaba Conservancy, staying at the Loisaba Loto Springs, which is part of the Elowana collection. Our stay here has been impeccable. Impeccable. We have a whole video giving you a tour about this awesome, awesome place and what it's all about. But today we're going to show you what it's like a day in the life here at Loisaba Loto Springs. We're going to be doing game drives and some other fun activities that this place has to offer. I'm going to be vlogging the entire thing. This is going to be a very full day, but we woke up bright-eyed, bushy-tailed, and it's time to go explore Loisaba Conservancy. You ready? Let's go! Before we head out, I have to show you the view from our balcony. It's insane. So right now it's six o'clock in the morning. The sun is about to rise. Oh, the nature sounds. I'm loving this place so, so much. This is where Shelly and I took a nice nap yesterday. I can't believe Shelly is making us two. I can't believe Shelly's making me two minutes late to game drive. Don't you know rule number one, Shelly? Rule number one is never miss game drive. And what's rule number two? You always take dessert. Shelly's already violated rule number one. <sighs> Sorry. Slacking. We're having another pinch me moment. Magical. Magical. Wow. Ah, the view from our camp. Wow. All right, we are loading up for another day of game drive. The vehicle, my boots were in there and I just need them this morning for horseback riding. Let's see if it's coming out, yeah? Now we'll be able to... Off-roading. All right, we've had such a great game drive so we far. Have. It's, wow. We were driving along, we spotted a cheetah. I didn't get much video of that because it was quite far away. Then we were just driving along and stopped, and boom, leopard, a male leopard looking us dead in the eye. He was like right here, but he started walking into the bushes. I got a short little video. But anyway, it's been such a successful morning. And it's all thanks to the fact that Shelly didn't have her boots because if she didn't have her boots, we would have left earlier. Here, I missed all these things. Here I was feeling so bad, inconveniencing us. <laughs> my boots, my water bottle. <laughs> <laughs> but turns out the boots oh. gave us the best sightings. Yes. Thank you, boots. Thank you, Simon, for not giving my boots. <laughs> <laughs> he knew. Came out in his pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> well, right now we are headed to a really fun, cool activity. It's a new take on the safari experience. Are you ready to go horseback riding? Horseback safari? Horseback safari. Kidding? When was the last time you've ridden a horse? Uh, three years ago. <laughs> I rode one a year ago today, coincidentally. So this is like my annual horseback I did visit. go horseback riding in Cape Town, South Africa. So it was on this continent. Oh. Yeah. The Loisaba Stables. All right, so Loisaba Conservancy is a private conservancy, which is really, really cool because this means you can do a ton of really special experiences here that you can't do in the national parks and national reserves. To give you an example, you can go on night drives here because in the national parks, you have to be back by seven o'clock, 7 p.m. You can't be in your vehicle past then, but here it's like, there's no rules. You can go on night drives. You can go find the lions at midnight if you wanted to. Some other fun activities you can do here is you can do a fishing trip. You can do a biking and safari, which we're gonna be doing later. And one of the things that they do here are horseback safaris so we're gonna be riding a horse for the next hour let's do it uh, or do you have a horse picked for us I'll pick the horse for you. okay what's his name toby and, then it's bob. Toby and, and bob. bob toby and bob and what's the temperament on these horses that's a beautiful horse yeah, yeah. which one are you gonna ride myself yeah uh, KCE 4961. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one and a half weeks? Yeah, one and a half weeks. He's that big at one and a half weeks? Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> One and a half weeks old? That's amazing. Mm -hmm. The baby's so friendly. Yeah, he's so friendly. Oh, look at you. What's his name? Bastille. Bastille. Yeah. <laughs> oh, his mom's stomping. No. Cappuccino, his brother. Full moon, that's a really, really cool name. Hi, full moon. How are you doing, Mike? good friends. Cappuccino is such a homie. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to pet the ones that I don't. Are they all family? Oh, thank you. How do I look? <laughs> is this the Titus? Hey. Hey, partner. <laughs> You're Toby and Bob? Yeah, what are you What are we going to see on safari today? Well, we've transitioned from the vehicle to horse. <laughs> we will go on safari in any mode of transport necessary. <laughs> mm. So what's one of the coolest animal sightings you've seen while on horseback? What do you think? I don't. Do you have 20 minutes? This is like <laughs> my favorite thing that I've ever done in my whole life. Sure. And I think everybody should go on horseback safari. And you I'm are in euphoria. Nine. I'm on cloud nine. This is the best thing I've ever done. So why did you like it so much? Well, to me what stands out is it gives you a completely different perspective on being on safari. You're totally immersed. You appreciate every sighting that comes across. Like, I saw a zebra, which a lot of the time we just drive past. We don't even look twice. But I was just, like, in awe, absolute awe. Like, I saw a squirrel, and I was like, oh, my gosh. Like, And <laughs> so, so it's like you're totally present in the experience, whereas sometimes, like, when you're on the vehicle, you can drift in and out and think about other things. But when you're on the horseback, you're completely aware of your surroundings at it's all times. It's a 360 time. view. It is. You're so vulnerable, but not at the same time. <laughs> Shelly has even dared to say it is her number one highlight of this trip so far. Possibly my life. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this was Shelly the whole time. Just pure bliss. I'm like, Jeff, hi. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're so happy we got to do that. That was really special. So we're back in the vehicle, finishing up this game drive, and we are looking out for perhaps the cheetah again, because we kind of know generally the area he was in. Look how eerie this is. This is uh, an impala kill up in the tree, left behind by a leopard. Well, we have just spotted a giraffe, and giraffes are Shelly's favorite animal. They are my favorite. They're just so stunning to look at. You're having a wonderful morning, aren't having you? Having a great morning. It's like anyway. designed to be perfect for you. <laughs> <laughs> it couldn't get better. Cheetah. So we've come across this female cheetah. There's only two cheetahs in all of Loisaba Conservancy. We saw the first one this morning and now we're seeing the second one. I am beyond impressed by Benson for spotting this. Like, how can you see that? We were just driving through all of this. Complete. She's like a little cat. Cactus forest. He spots two little ears right here. She's gorgeous. If you have to go for the kill, mm -hmm. right now, they just like take like five to ten minutes to catch up the bread and start uh, feeding. All right, so we made it back to camp and we're having breakfast here at Loisaba Lotus Springs. Check out this view behind me. It's an infinity pool stretching into Loisaba Conservancy. Oh, this is the best. We're about to have breakfast right here. I just had the best banana bread I've ever had in my entire life. I can't stop eating it. I need to save room for eggs. So we're starting with this. This looks like a little apple oatmeal dish. Mmm. Ooh, yum. That is not your typical oatmeal. 
This is the super delicious banana bread that I'm saving. I need to just hold off for a second with that. We got some fruit skewers and some coconut muffins. Sitting over there. I cannot stop looking at this view. Like, look at this. Let's try this. Shelly's back. Hi, Shelly. I just framed a balsamic. She can't have a meal without balsamic <laughs> vinaigrette. So Shelly and I are just sitting here. We're going to be talking a little bit about the level of exceptional service we've been receiving here. Mm. This is unlike any safari or overnight experience we've ever had. No. And I can safely say that Elowana has been the most incredible hospitality experience I've ever had in my entire yes. life. There are so many details cared for that just make all the difference. Mm -hmm. Laundry is complimentary. They are willing to go out of their way to help you at every step of the journey. <laughs> like all the staff greet you by your name wherever you go. They wait for you when you come back from Safari Drive. They know exactly when you are arriving from Game Drive with a nice cold towel to freshen up your face and wipe off all the dust. Anyway, we just feel so comfortable here. We love this place. We have 24 hours left to make the most of it. Sad. It's gonna be a jam-packed 24 hours mm -hmm. though. Yum. Thank you so much. About it. <laughs> <laughs> Shelly is so excited about these sun-dried tomatoes. You have no idea. My next activity is a bike safari. Shelly's taking a quick nap, so it's just gonna be me and Benson going out to potentially see some wild animals while on bicycle. Let's go. All right, so the driver's gonna lead us and we're gonna follow on bike. First, a horseback riding safari. Now, doing it on bikes. Andiamo. It's happening. We could come across a lion, cheetah, or leopard at any given moment, but that's the beauty of bike safaris. Ooh, an impala, our first sighting. This is so cool, you guys. I'm loving this. Do you think we could go find the lions? Yeah, yeah most definitely. Cool. We found some zebras. Zebra sightings just hit different when you're on a bike. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> All right, I just finished the biking safari, which was a blast. That is a safari experience I've never had before. So, so much fun. It was just Benson and I. I didn't get to film too much out there because my hands were on the handlebars, so I couldn't really like film with my phone, but I got as much as I could, and now I've reunited with Shelly. That was a long, that was, that was a long, long time apart. Separated. Uh, almost an hour. So you missed Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> she survived <laughs> and we're back mm -hmm. for another meal it's only been about an hour and a half we're back for appetizers because um, if breakfast bread. wasn't enough <laughs> i just wanted bread you just wanted bread i don't even know how we're still eating there's this sun-dried tomato dip i've like licked it clean <laughs> you have been like and dreaming I'm about that i'm gonna ask for more nope. <laughs> that is her favorite thing Elawana has served is that sun-dried tomato dip what's this it's zucchini hummus. It's okay. Oh my gosh. I've been sleeping on that. Mm -hmm. Anyway, another day in life. So we've got a little kudu who's joined us at the pool here. So today we did a biking safari, a regular safari, and a horseback riding safari. And now I'm doing a pool safari. So I just sit here all day and animals come up to the pool. Right now we have a kudu. And pool safaris come with salted almond sorbet. This is so epic. The perfect day continues. We just finished lunch. I took a quick dip in the pool, and now we are sitting in this very cozy lounge area, admiring the view. Look at the view. <sighs> could sit here all day, and I will. So what do we have left for today? Well, we are going on an afternoon game drive, and then we are going to go to dinner. We're actually gonna be coming back for an early dinner here. So we can catch sunset. We're usually out and about at sunset time, so it's gonna be really fun to be here, enjoy this view at that golden hour. And then we're gonna go head out on another game drive, but that one's gonna be at night, nighttime game drive. So today, total three drives. Right now we're just enjoying this last few minutes of calm before we head back out. Shelly, are you ready? I'm always ready. Rule number one, say it with me. We never, never miss, miss game, game drive. drive. And what's rule number two? Always take the mimosa. <laughs> Rule number three, say it with me. We, we always, always have, have dessert. dessert. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to drink it. <laughs> no one answering? 
<laughs> Shelly has a bleeding toe, so we're calling the walkie talkie for help. <laughs> That's perfect days. This has been ruined. <laughs> this has been ruined. <laughs> I'm trying to call medical emergency. Ten number two, medical emergency. Nine one one. What's nine one one in Kenya? I nine nine one. <laughs> Hello. I think like that's my favorite thing that I ever did on safari. We're back on drive. I think it's the perfect day. We've had the perfect day. So now we're just sitting here enjoying the watering hole, which has got <laughs> lots of favorite. interspecies interaction, mm -hmm. which is our favorite. So mm -hmm. we have hippos with zebras, with impala, with Egyptian geese, with spoonbills, with, <laughs> with what's next? Like and with us. Waiting. With us. Oh Look at all these vulture and guinea fowls. Oh. So what's a group of guinea fowl called? It's called a confusion of guinea fowl. What do you call a group of Jeff and Shelley's? A confusion. <laughs> <laughs> because we don't want to miss sunset. <laughs> Both my laces are undyed. <laughs> just filmed and gathered a bunch of content here on the patio during sunset which was amazing i didn't vlog because we were busy doing other things but now we're having dinner Yay. right here on this nice little landing Magical. we normally miss dinner at this time because we come back so much later from game drive but because we're going on a night drive in just a bit we're having dinner early it's and so nice to be around for it it is so nice this is amazing there's lanterns lit around us it's very mm -hmm. romantic are we on a honeymoon i think we are should we just get married we might as well <laughs> we're pretty much Can already just, married like, live on safari forever sure <laughs> wow so what's inside sun-dried tomatoes no i think maybe there is sun dried. it's like balsamic beets goat cheese mine is fire wow. i don't even know where to start anyone who knows me will know sun-dried tomato balsamic vinegar Slash glaze, feta, caramelized onion. And this dish has everything. Everything. Everything in one place. Wow. I'm not worthy. All right, night game drive. Here we go. Our third drive of the day. <laughs> we are now on our night game drive. That is really bright. And hopefully we find some creatures of the night. Excited. I'm not gonna open my eyes. Yeah. You're multitasking. Yeah. <laughs> just saw a male lion and now we're looking for him. Of course it is dark so we are doing our best with the spotlight but I am very invested. So we saw the cheetah when we first woke up, and now we're seeing it before bed. Yeah, yes, definitely. thank you for epic game drive. Mm -hmm. Shelly was kind of asleep towards the end. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> well, we finished epic day. Epic day was intense it was fun it was amazing uh it ended, ended with night game drive which we saw a cheetah a leopard a lion some white-tailed mongooses mm -hmm. is it mongoose or mongooses mongoose. uh, mongoose. white-tailed monkeys we saw giraffes zebras greve zebras we saw so much on that last game drive we even wow. saw a striped hyena so anyway i'm wrapping up this video now that was Epic Day in Louis Alba Conservancy. 
If you want to watch more adventures with us in Kenya or with me anywhere else in the world, don't forget to subscribe. I need to go to bed. Have a good night.